We play poker together, me and Mark. We do. And he's, he's um, very good. I did in my little intro. I mentioned that you're you're not the best poker player. Would that right. be fair? Uh, let's let's finish this interview. I'm very excited. Are you rolling? Frankie's rolling. I can introduce Mark Mayer, very, very good friend of mine, very old friend of mine, and he's one of my poker buddies as well. He's not the best at poker. I might actually mention that, see what's going on. But Mark Mayer, coming very soon. Sorry to bother you. You're not Steve Best, are you? Okay. Not Steve Best. No, uh, no. He's a bit late, actually. He's, he should be here. Oh, he's such a, Mark. Mark. Not Steve. Mark. Oh. Mark. So sorry. Sorry. I... What's he doing? I thought he was. <laughs> Is he mucking around? I thought it was you. Uh, <laughs> just you? a bloke doing a survey. <laughs> Such a knob. <laughs> Hello, mate. It's Mark Mayer. Oh, Welcome to my little studio. Thank you very much. Mark Mayer. Hello. I'm going to take some shots of you now. Of okay. Your face. Mm, my face. Yes. Very worried. I've got a paranoia about my triple chins. Go on. Is it true you've got a. Do that with your teeth or something. Yeah, there's something about um, putting, putting your, your tongue in the back of your face. Face. <laughs> yeah. Or th there's also one where you hold back and you lean forward a little bit. So you, yeah. Or you cut your head off. Or, but I, your face. that looks very unnatural. That did. But, yeah. but we'll take. <laughs> um, that was one of my questions. Do you like having your picture taken in? Yeah. I'm stating the obvious, but if, if the end result looks good, if the end result doesn't look like me, then I'm quite happy. I like what you do. I like the reportage. We play poker together, me and Mark. We do. And he's, he's um, very good. I'm not very good. He's very good. I did in my little intro. I mentioned that you're you're not the best poker player. Would that right. be fair? Uh, let's let's finish this interview. That's, I know you get. You've got I, a, I, I but you love it. the game, though. I love the game. Yes, it's but a bit like, like comedy, isn't it? It's the thrill, or the excitement, the buzz. Move. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, the story no, no, is. No, no, you're, that, that's it. That's the story it. is then. No. 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 So do it, Adam Bloom for me. You you saw the Alison McGowan did that. Yeah. I know. I know. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, it was good. No, no, that's not fair. I, 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 I refuse, because in, in, in 1976, I was wearing blue jeans and, uh, and, and uh, green socks. And you said to me, why, why did you wear green jeans and blue socks? And I said, N -n -n no, no, <laughs> no. I've got a book about that. Are you, are, you, are you an impressionist? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> he did that story. one as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, look at you. Oh, yes, you're. Yes, and what about. Yes, oh, there's a moth. And. Uh, Alistair McGowan doing Eddie Lord. Yeah. In fact, when I started out in the 1920s, uh, and I was accused of copying Eddie Izzard. By, by other comics going, why are you doing Eddie Izzard? And I gave him a lift back from a gig once, and I was very worried about this. And to be fair, I was probably uh, influenced uh, by, by him. So I gave him a lift back from a gig, and I said, do you think I'm... And he went, yes, uh, uh, I'd heard that rumour as well, yeah. But other than going, uh, occasionally, I don't see the connection. I thought, that's brilliant, that's vindication. It wasn't his material, it was his style. But I think people couldn't help but emulate because it just rubbed off on them. Yeah. I have to say, Eddie never voice. rubbed off on me. Didn't he? No. But I heard he did. That's <laughs> well, the rumour I heard. Oh, oh. Yeah, sticky leg, yeah. <laughs> so if you're enjoying this, press the like button. Yes. Uh, which is there. Thank you. I'll put that on the screen. And if you like, like it even more, then subscribe, which is very important. Very important. I've subscribed. Have you? Yeah, yeah. I genuinely have. He's as genuinely as, subscribed. As is my wife. Really? All of the interviews that you've done have been brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right, and on with the interview. You've never classed yourself as an impressionist no. on the circuit, but I, I know you, Mark Mayer, as a really good voice person. I like doing mimics and voices and, yeah. But not only of famous people, but of so, and yes, accents yeah. as well. Well, funnily enough, not of, uh, way before it was popular, people identifying as animals. I was with my family, I'm from the North East, I'm from Newcastle Lake, but no one believes I'm from Newcastle because I do and talk with accent like, if I go back home I start talk like this, and then people go, oh yeah, I'm from Newcastle, but if I'm in London then I just don't talk, that's a bit, anyway. So I'm, I'm in Newcastle, which is where I grew up, and I'm walking along Tynemouth Beach with my family, my mum and dad, my brothers, and I just got a bit bored, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be a seagull. I'll just, thought, I, it was quite empowering, and this is true, <laughs> and I ran along the beach, going, ah! Running. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> and my mum's calling me 
Mark! And I go, ah, Mark! And I got to the top of these sand dunes and looked back and I just saw the family sort of in the distance with and a little old lady walked up with a shopping bag that she pulled along the dragged along on the beach and sort of had a chat and then walked, my mum had stopped shouting. What, what did the old lady say? And she said, well, she just looked up at you and she went, oh, oh, just leave him. He's happy. <laughs> <laughs> the How truth, old were you? The then? truth is, yeah. I was 28. <laughs> <laughs> 28! <laughs> if your colleague went to uh, Los Angeles, whereabouts would he go? Oh. See, he's already worked it out. Frankie goes to... Oh, you're talking about Frankie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's good, we'll keep that. Would you like that? <laughs> I have actually been to Hollywood. Have you? Uh, I, I, li I lived in Hollywood. Oh, yes. Let's go no, back. No. Let's go what a that really, was. That's really, wow. <gasps> Unbelievable. Is that where you kind of started? Because yes. you were a graphic designer beforehand, weren't you? This is you? correct. Thank See, you for I've doing your research. research We've known each other for maybe 30 years and you've only now just Googled it. I didn't Google it. You wouldn't be on Google, would you? No. Yeah. Okay, so. No, I worked in graphic design. I was in advertising. I was in advertising. Yeah. Uh, copywriter and we it and I worked for LBC radio writing radio ads and I went to America for a friend's wedding yeah ended up staying working in the Hollywood Hills writing radio commercials and that's where I started doing stand-up I thought there was a buzz at that point about if you're English oh my god we love your accent just say garage again we say garage it's a sort of that era yeah. always had an interest in stand-up but I started doing improvisation I joined an imp an impro group in Los Angeles. You're very good at impro. Mark Mayo is very, very good well, at Well, thank you. No, you are. I mean, your material's great, but I do like you going off on tangents, and that's why your voice is coming really well. He can't write jokes, he's shit at poker. That's basically what uh, But saying. you're good at impro. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, my thing was, my calling card for doing impro, I taught Catherine Tate. She oh. I ran an impro group in Camden. People who'd never done in the impro before were interested in it. This is the stuff that I'd learned from America. So I brought and started a little group there. We did shows every Sunday and I sort of taught the rudimentary skills of... Okay, so, so you're in the, in the States. Yes, sir. I was uh, working in Los Angeles uh, as a copywriter. And then I started doing stand-up. And they uh, ran uh, stand-up nights. And so uh, being the English uh, act on the bill, uh, it didn't really matter what my comedy was I won week after week and this is true I went back every week and just did my same hello I'm English oh we love it um, <laughs> was it like that say some more words it, well, yeah I'm being a bit self-deprecating but it I had I had some jokes so then you went on um, a blind date yes it was called the dating game yeah uh, a friend of mine a friend of a friend of a friend uh, suggested why don't I go for it so I did and uh, I was again the English guy on the dating game right and uh, this was at the time when uh, sushi was popular, had hit the streets. Yeah. Everybody's talking about sushi. Yeah. But I'd never seen it written down, so I thought it was pronounced sushi. <laughs> so on national TV. Uh, my first question for bachelor number one, if we went on a date, where would you go and why? And I went, well, I'd probably take you out for some sushi. <laughs> Studio audience laugh, I think, oh, I want a bit of a winner here. They like the wacky English guy talking about this new food that everybody's eating. So I thought the, su the sushi thing is a winner. So every question, she asked, the next question, I'd crowbar in Sushi, you know. If you we went to a costume party, what would you come dressed as? Well, I'd probably come dressed as Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Big audience laugh. And she said, I'm going to pick bachelor number one because uh, I'm a real sucker for an accent. And then in the interview thing afterwards, he said, uh, so I guess you're going to be going out to celebrate with a plate of Sushi. And I thought, why is he saying that now? What? Oh, God, it's not pronounced like that. So... And, and did you go for some sushi? I, I did. I, uh, <laughs> I went to Kona, Hawaii as a trip. To Hawaii? I won a trip to Hawaii. But she didn't go. She was an actress. <laughs> so what? I could take, took a mate who I worked with at Hang this on, agency. But don't they film that bit? No, they don't film the after bit. But uh, surely that's the interesting bit. Exactly. Worst gig? How long have you got? Hey. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just getting a call from the bloke in the street. <laughs> Yeah, and no, I didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's right, no. Steve Best, yeah. Uh, he, he's got his own channel, yes. I don't know if he's mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, Can sorry, I just sorry, say, Terry Alderton did that. You haven't seen that one? He started to do that on stage where he takes phone calls. No, no, I'm just filming with Steve Best. Steve Best. <laughs> no, no, I put them on hold, they can't hear you. You know the dog's prolapse, don't you, by the way, because you <laughs> get to eat those balloons. See, uh, great minds. Yeah. Go on. Worst gig? Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, two nights in the show called Toomlers. Toomlers! Yeah. And uh, two nights, a Friday and a Saturday night. Yeah. And they're an up for a crowd, they're a buzzy crowd, they're a happy crowd. I go on first, 
there's little bowls of peanuts on the tables. I said, so what's this? Uh, why are you? I'm, chat I'm doing routines about, you know, just doing my stuff. And midway through the gig, it's an absolutely delightful gig. What do you got peanuts? We like peanuts. I said, okay, so who wants a peanut? And I threw a peanut out. He's like, right, crazy guy. Who else wants a peanut? I'm throwing another peanut out. I said, oh, what the hell? Peanuts for everybody. Whew. Bing, 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 peanut. They're, honestly, they're, it's like the funniest thing. It's like, it's crazy Mr. B. They're <laughs> laughing, they love it. And the gig, off stage, and still murmurs, this guy's crazy, who does that, throws the peanut? <laughs> Leave the gig, and as we're leaving, the guy that's running the gig, Raul, I believe his name was. Hey guys, have a great day. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you all tomorrow for the game. Oh, by the way, uh, lots of, we tell the English comedians, don't smoke, uh, you know, it's... Yeah, yeah, thanks, Raul. No, because it can, it's very strong, don't... Yeah, yeah, thanks, Raul. So we all leave, cut to the next day, midday, in one of these bulldog establishments. I'm there with uh, other, another comic. We, we try some of the local herb. Um, do you believe it's called skunk? <laughs> it's just the classic sort of rookie, first time we've ever done this business of, did you, are you feeling anything? No, me neither. Oh, well, maybe we'll just do one more. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. We leave and walk to this um, card shop. And I find myself in hysterics going, look, there's a, there's, a, there's a cat playing the drums. Can you believe there's a cat playing the drums? Look, how can a cat play the drums? It's <laughs> really, kicked it, in. They, they can't even in. hold, can't even hold the sticks. We're in hysterics, and we realise the <laughs> substance has maybe kicked in. I feel the effects of this getting worse and worse and worse as the day progresses. So about four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm lying in bed, my head's spinning, I'm thinking, oh my God. We walk to the show, I can't even speak. I'm just absolutely. And then on the Friday, they made me two thirds full. There's a queue around the corner, it's heaving, and I've got to go on first. So I think I, I string together a sentence as best I can, arouse the, hey guys, you have a good, I'm thinking, don't, don't look at my eyes, don't. I'm totally paranoid. So I'm on stage. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, so it's murmurs, hush, silence. It's who, are you in a relationship? <laughs> um, do you, who likes KFC? And then, like in the Terminator film, the screen with all the information, I look down and see my holy grail. I see the peanuts. <coughs> the thing that's been brilliant, the thing that's brought virtual standing ovation the night before because of all the bonhomie and goodwill in the room because I've been messing about and they loved me. And I pick up the peanuts and I go, peanuts for everybody! <laughs> and all I can hear is ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. What's he throwing? The, what's, why? He? <laughs> Put the bowl back down. Thank you, good night. <laughs> and as I walk past the compa, Paul, as he's passing me, he whispers in my ear, you've done four minutes. <laughs> supposed to do 20. I walked off, went to the toilet, and I had, I think, what's known in uh, medical terms as a whitey. <laughs> <laughs> I just stayed locked in the toilet. That was my worst gig. It's horrendous, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. it is a lesson to us all, Steve. Because I always look. ask um, what your favorite um, photograph, because it's about photography as well. So Vivian Meyer, had this exhibition, and as you know, you know her work. It's all what we were talking about before, reportage. It was exactly the kind of work that, or the photographs that I like, which is just stuff from the street. But you chose one picture that you, you, you yes. kind of... Yes, it's all very sort of, yeah. it's bizarre, isn't it, yeah. really? It's like, you know, the best sort of photographs where you look at them and go, there's a bit of a story here, as opposed to a bloke going. Yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. So when you look in the mirror, Mark Meyer, yeah. what do you see? Uh, oh dear, I see um, a man who I don't believe is as old as he is. It, it's a vanity thing, isn't it? I don't have a lot of grey hair, and I have been asked if I dye my hair, and I don't dye my hair. How dare you ask? I wouldn't even know how to dye my hair. Um, Get the phone, Mark. Thank you. Hello? <laughs> no, I don't dye my hair. No, I don't. Um, I remember doing a show in Cardiff. Yeah. And came off stage, and there's two... Um, Two quite attractive young ladies standing at the bar, yeah. looking and smiling. Oh, well, this is embarrassing. This is awkward. Uh, I'm obviously going to have to tell them I'm married. One of them walks up to me and says, Excuse me, I hope you don't mind me saying, but you really remind me of my father. Oh, no. Do you also dye your hair? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so it was lockdown that I resurrected a little bit of career in portrait drawing. I was at art college in Manchester yeah. many, many years ago. So forgot I could do drawings and stuff. Lockdown happened. We couldn't gig. So I started sort of doodling and doing drawing people's pets and just for a bit of fun. Oh God, you should do this more seriously. Which you have so, uh, doing. Which I've now started doing and it's now quite quite busy. Well, look. That's great, look at that. Uh, for Christmas present last year, Lee Mack asked me to do, draw his dogs. Yeah. Um, it was a, 
a great Dane and a Chihuahua. I said, can you give me a little quote? And he said, we've got a Dalmatian and a Labrador, but Mark gave it his best shot, which I thought was very funny. Yeah, was good. But you also, I, and I do want to big it up, and you do some really nice pictures as well. There's one of the, um, there's three rabbis on a bench, and he's called, called benching. benching. Uh, it's an in-joke in a way, because they're bench. benching. Yeah, yeah. When you're benching, you're praying, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, but it's a really good drawing, oh, I really like you. it. So he's also got the a picture. Palm tree. The palm tree's really good, and also yes. there's one, the 101 Dalmatians. Yes, you've that got, was quite interesting. 101 prints. Of Dalmatians, and foolishly I thought, well, this is they're going to be very popular. I mean, I've sold three, but I've got um, 98, 98 to go. Yeah. So, Mark Mayer, yes. I'm, I'm always doing yeah, stuff. Let's do the eyes like this. Not do. Thank you. Yes. Mark Mayer, thank you for coming. No, thank you. Can we it's have been, a hug? It's been a pleasure, Steve. Um, it's been. Mark Mayer's a very funny man, very uh, artistic. Uh, thanks for coming, and um, see you. See you on the poker, poker scene next week. Will there be peanuts? Uh, Frankie, it's been real. Thank you very much. Mark Mayer, he's knocked his camera. That's right, it's not on. <laughs> okay, this is, we're going to just fade this out, this one. <laughs> this pro Normally I end there's a proper end, but I think but we're just going to take the volume down. And, 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 um, oh, sorry. Now. No. Or you can get filmed by that other guy. Or could you just do, and I'll do this, I'll pretend mm, nah. to, to do what you're saying, but I'll try and... Don't do that, you can't get away with that. Okay. Case. Can you? My no. brother does that a lot. Okay. Now. now.